You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame. We got Cortez in the building. This is this is actually my first interview with you for Ultimate Madness 3. Mm -hmm. You was on like a media strike type situation. Not yeah, a strike, man. Strike, but I just wanted to uh keep the opponents guessing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I like to watch interviews to study my opponents. So I was just like, all right, cool. That gives me a little bit of advantage to see what they're thinking in their mind and let them know. Have no idea what I'm thinking. Right, 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 right. Understood, understood. I feel like you approached this whole tournament like a veteran. You know what I mean? Uh, unfortunate as far as how it ended, but like, like, kind of walk me through since I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Kind of walk me through real quick, leading up to today. Um, the first round official. You know, I had a chip on my shoulder. You know, I always got love for official. We cool. You know, but uh, the way the perception was and everything like that, it was just like, okay, cool. It. It's it switch. It hit the switch for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I honestly I had like I told her off camera, I said, Yo, thank you. I needed that. You right. know what I mean? Uh I'm my own worst enemy. You know? So with this tournament, I took that approach and said, All right, I'ma do what the fuck I need to do just to show niggas, you know? And uh I think it worked. Especially yeah. the first round. Then the second round, Jack. People don't understand, Jack Jack got stupid. Yeah. That got stupid in our battle, like stupid in our battle. She see the gray sweats, the thing got dick like yeah, crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. So you know, getting through that too, I was just like, alright, cool. Like, you know, my 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 whole mentality was just like, yo, just keep the pace, keep on the helmets, and that's what I did today too. Like how I started the round, the second round, like I was just at a certain pace, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I know me, man. I'm just like the materials there, you know. Uh, I really have no idea what happened. Though. Yeah. It wasn't like I wasn't uh, prepared. I wasn't nervous. I just blanked out. Yeah. And I, I, I can't say nothing about how I started the second with the whole sofrito cordon bleu. Mm. That is the first. That was all first verse. Okay. So that just I just. So that's why you ended up getting time called on you because you yeah, all first I didn't verse. Yeah. to the finish the second. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But uh, you know, salute the nitty, salute the Geechee because this shit is not. Easy at all. Yeah. People really don't understand how hard it is to prepare two weeks, and it gets harder every every two weeks with your opponent. You know, so they got through it, man. That's yeah. just crazy. Yeah. How how hard is it to say good goodbye to hundred K? In lack of a better way to put it. it, it the, the fucked up thing is, I feel like I, I fucked up my own bag. You know, I don't feel like somebody just flat out beat me. I think Nitty was crazy. Right. But you know, it was just like my material was dead, so it like it irks me more. It's just like this was different, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, this was different. If y'all fuck with me, y'all respect me, I, I appreciate that. You know, um, this ain't the end of it. You mm. know, we, we, we warriors, you know how we do. Right. But uh, 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame, baby. Let's go!